no hay, no hay. <risa> Good evening and welcome to the November board meeting. This time after everybody sat down, I guess all the rise to be a bit Section. Please visit it. 
and it gives simple instructions on how you can make purchases through Amazon, and actually it's Amazon Smile, which will donate 0.5% of all your purchases back to um, a, uh, a place of your choice, which we hope is tax. So please think of us when you're making your purchases. Finally, we are um, looking at the um, idea of starting a strip program here um, at Newton School. So a survey has been sent out to all of our families that have valid email addresses this afternoon. And it's a survey monkey, so if you will um, fill out that survey and give us your opinion, we'd really appreciate it to see if um, it's a viable option for us here at PAX. And finally, I'd like to take a moment to thank um, and to wish all of our families a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh, principal's report for the next one, soon. Good evening. This year's food drive is being held in conjunction with Academy Injury and Health. This local Northeast organization partners with us to offer off-site work and office training opportunities to our life school students. And um, the high school is working in conjunction with the elementary school to collect food items and we are intending to make a substantial donation to help those in need. The first wave of Keystone testing will be held on December 7th and 8th for our junior class in algebra. The juniors will then test again in January in literature and biology. All of our teachers completed a professional development on proper administration of the Keystone exams. On Monday, Philadelphia Police Department's Heads Up program spoke to our students about the dangers of making poor choices regarding drugs and alcohol. The goal of this program is to educate our children about issues that they face in the world every day. We want to make a, a huge thank you to those who helped to make our freshman sophomore fall ball such a big success, beginning with the parents who decorated our gym on their free time and provided a treat table for the children. Kim Burns, Christine Delgado, and Betty Works led this effort. We also want to thank those teachers who came out to chaperone, and a special thanks to the Teacher Planning Committee, Danielle Kennedy, Evelyn Gerard, Katie McConnell, and Nicole Pope. As Mrs. Sigmund spoke about, Santa Claus is coming to town and is going to have breakfast with our students on December 20th from 9 until 11 a.m. Tickets will be on sale in both the grade school and the high school, and the cost of tickets will be $10. We plan on having a number of activities for the children to do, and the end will be a visit with Santa and photos, and also to enjoy a delicious breakfast. Student Council is sponsoring a turkey bowl, and that is underway. The first two rounds were yesterday and today with the PACS champion being crowned tomorrow, and they will then advance to play against rival Mass champion team on Monday at the JCC field and finally on November 9th administration high school students and Mascio staff came together for a round table where we listened to student suggestions about our food program children gave really valuable um, suggestions Mascio's received them well and some of those suggestions are already in place including the um, return of Big Al's Pizza, which the kids really, really wanted, so that that would be returning on every other Friday. So thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, after school programs are underway for reading and math tutoring, as well as our Temple University kinesiology <laughs> and movement program for our students with autism, report cards come out on December 4th, and parent conferences are December 10th from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock. Our student council held their first dance at the end of October and over 200 students were in attendance. We will recognize our students of the month for October and November at next month's board meeting. Uh, we are preparing for meets across America. The High School Community Service Club is coming over to make crafts with our kindergarten classes to greet the caravan on December 10th. And we're also going to invite our in-house Boy Scout, PAC and Troop to uh, come and participate in the event. Our check from the Kiss a Pig program came in this week. Uh, we raised $2,400, but received a check for $5,900 with corporate donations from the Trumark Foundation. We will be using this money to replenish our calculator supply at both the grade school and the high school. Most notably, the grade school and high school are performing our first ever combined musical, The Sound of Music, 
over the weekend of March 10th through 13th, tryouts are December 34th. The high school drama club and grade school first and third graders are performing tonight. So let's wrap up this meeting so we can get in there to our seats. Thank you. I will keep it brief. Uh, special Ed Department is doing very well. Our students are thriving. We are having uh, a great deal of communication between the grade school staff and the high school staff with our goal of having a very cohesive, comprehensive K through 21 program. And it's, it's coming along very well. Trish Felix, our behavior consultant, is going back and forth to both buildings. And in doing that, she's made it uh, her mission to uh, uh, make sure everything is aligned and we're working on a consistent set of goals toward transition to post secondary education for work and independent living. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Tom Horton. Thankfully, I don't have too much to report on regarding transportation. Uh, a couple of things I want to give an update on, on two subjects that have been areas of concern recently. First, we've been able to significantly, significantly address the lack of bus monitors that we have. Uh, in the last five weeks, we've added five bus monitors, which is allowing us to meet, meet, meet the needs of, of buses that have children with an IEP that require a bus monitor. It also allows us to provide the help needed on the buses that have the largest amount of students, which several of our buses do have large amounts, so that's uh, very helpful. Uh, secondly, we're continuing to evaluate what we can do to further secure our buses. You might know that this past Saturday, November the 14th, several elementary age children entered the elementary school property. They did enter our buses through the emergency doors on top of the bus and the hatches, uh, which we cannot legally block. The police are involved. Uh, they will provide us some information as to the possible identities of the individuals, and at this time, it is still an ongoing investigation. We're discussing various options, including increasing our exterior surveillance cameras. Thankfully, none of the vehicles sustain damage, and they all have been able to go out on their assigned routes without any delay. And if that would happen, please keep in mind, in the event that any transportation would have to be canceled for any reason, parents would be notified using our one call now system. Thank you. Um, home and school, I think. Home and school reports which would be great. School or the high school. Um, parent advisory council. She's talking about transition committee. Tom Taylor, creation for the financial reports. For the financials for the four months ended October 31st, 2015. As of the end of October, the school had approximately $9.1 million in the bank, roughly 6.2 of that's in the money market. Our receivables were a million dollars, 461,000 of them are due to uh, amounts owed from the school districts. That's the school district of Philadelphia for transportation, and then various school districts for students that are being built for out of the district of Philadelphia. Accounts payable was approximately 115000 um, and our, our revenue would exceed in expenditures for the four months by $590,792 versus a plan of $305,869, resulting in a favorable variance of $284,920. There's three specific reasons why this has happened. We are running lower in plan and personnel costs, that's salaries, health benefits, fees, uh, retirement, and social security or uh, payroll taxes. The main item in there is really the um, health benefits are running below plan. The plan was, was built to suit the higher rate. The other reasons are rent is a lot lower than we expected it to be. Built last year. Uh, resolution was made in July to lower the rent for the high school, and then contracted services are running below plan for the first four months. We are billing for 100, uh, 1,154 students. That's the full 1,124 that we are allowed by the school district of Philadelphia, and 
and 30 students for uh, about six districts throughout the area.